I'm living in a moment right now where I see this balance that RTE is forced to maintain in operation. Probably know there's going to be a debate on homophobia. I've been in several kind of prime time audiences and things like that. And as the public moves more towards acceptance of equality for LGBT people, the only voices left to articulate this balance are nut jobs. And they're people who have more than mildly distasteful attitudes and ways of expressing themselves. And this false allegiance to the idea that each conversation must measure equally on the scales is doing us a huge injustice. A lot, a lot of my friends would have said to me in some of these debates, oh, but they're so crazy. I mean, they're just driving the middle ground people over onto your side. And that may well be the case. But I also know it's the case that I got contacted by the head of a suicide charity hotline who saw a massive increase in uh, suicidal people with sexuality issues and isolation issues calling in during the Pantygate thing that happened in February. And I contacted another helpline and asked them, do you keep metadata? And they compared February 2013 and February 2014, huge spike from zero su suicidality calls to about six and a massive spike in, in other topics as well. They kept the information. So this balance is being paid for by vulnerable people. Let's bear that in mind, and all, on all of the other issues, like abortion, on uh, uh, any other sensitive topic that reaches deep into somebody's lives, the crazies get wheeled out and they get inordinate air time, while shouting about how they're being censored, I might add, I mean, the irony is completely lost. It is hilarious. So, we have to find a space in between, it makes you feel happy, you can believe what you want and teach it to your kids and, and pr 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 promulgate it in, in your community, and uh, uh, the other extreme as cited, which is, you know, pressing people in lifts and arguing um, at the drop of a hat. There has to be a middle ground there where you can apply that sort of social and conversational pressure to say, well, I don't assent to this articulation of a crazy belief. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not staying silent in the face of this prejudice or this medieval, um, apotropaic state of affairs.